Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's a lovely weather here in Europe. Uh, it's very warm, and then uh, I'm glad that we have gathered here, despite the weather. Uh, still, we are here to see what is this tech new technology that has come here in this in our world, in our lives, and then I hope you will enjoy our today's presentation. And well, at first I tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Michael. I'm from Estonia and I have been with Skyway. I've been an investor of this technology for more than three years now. And, and I have been honored to, to, well, I received an invitation before a few years ago to come both in Belarus to see the Ecotechno Park there, which is the first certification and demonstration center. And secondly, I have been uh, twice actually, but uh, only, well, the first time there was basically nothing, only some, uh, only flags uh, next to the road where cars drove the Skyward flags. But the second time I was there with a Skyward community members, there was about 50 of us and we got the chance to see all of this um, development in the United Arab Emirates in the Innovation Center in Sarja by our own eyes. And that was awesome. And then I hope because uh, this year the expo will start the event and Skyway is also presented there and uh, and I well there was a questionnaire before which I received uh, by, via email that uh, would I like to go there um, and I think maybe the board members are planning some kind of event there so if that chance ar uh, arises and to all of us then i urge you to take part of it and come and see this uh, with your own eyes as 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 well but all right let's continue with today's presentation uh, first of all i will show you the well i will give you the glimpse of what has happened in uh, sarja in united arab emirates and this is the first picture i will show you and as you can see this is the first line as well uh, because on the right side in the corner you can see the the 400 meter track, the very beautiful one, and it's ready. It's already well. The certification process already goes on actively there on that line, and as we know, there are um, three more lines coming, which are all two and a half kilometers long. So they are about five or six times uh, longer than this one, and well, mainly because of the speed. So we could test the models with higher speed and secondly uh, the, the other ones uh, you can actually see on the left side uh, under this um, rooftop here you can see the supports already placed and those that that track will uh, will come to hold so it could it's stronger so it can hold uh, heavy weights as well for example for cargo and sea containers the right and uh, another picture from another angle then of course what is great is that we have the first ever built wooden house in Sarcha. well i mean first ever wooden house that has been built in united arab emirates so never before any company has officially at least uh, uh, been able to construct a wooden house there well there are many reasons for this one but uh, but yes so skyway is the first one and this is called echo house and the main uh, mission of this house is to maintain itself fully so it can produce uh, both electricity water cool and so on so it should be a self uh, regulating house so to say and another angle of this and then of course the tropical unicar which is very awesome and uh, I got the chance to drive with it in Belarus, uh, in Mar Marina Korka Eco, uh, at, at the Eco Festival. And, and I was also 50 meters above the ground and it was awesome. Just the view and the look and I, well, if anyhow, 
as we know what's going on in the world, if anyhow there will be another chance that we can go there. I believe it will become next year probably, maybe after next one, uh, next year. Well, it depends on how, how it goes on with this coronavirus. But if that uh, opportunity comes, then I again urge you all and invite you all to come there and see this with your own eyes. You can feel it, you can touch it, you can ride with it. It's very awesome one day. But all right, then the sea containers, as I said before. So even the the monorail, what you can see on this picture, which is meant to hold uh, lighter ways, even this one can can transport goods via sea container transportation system, uni truck it's called. And this, of course, this sea container is the half 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 of the size. Uh, well, there are two sizes. One is bigger, forty meter, uh, forty foot long and weighs about 10 to 20 tons depending uh, depends on how, how much load well is is on board so to say but this one is uh, almost half, half this uh, half the size but uh, nevertheless it is still very awesome and it's very cool to see that it's uh, the operation is going on very well and actively so all right mm next we'll go see the main presentation part and in the end i will tell you the recent news as well as usual i hope you will enjoy it i will show you at the moment well we go first of first of all we go back in the history and i will show you what has been done uh, so far not with skyway but i mean with other technologies as well so you can have some comparison with uh, with what i'm going to show you after the first first part. All right, let's continue. And almost 100 years ago, well, a little bit less, in 1920 or something uh, year, um, uh, was this picture made by an artist who, who pictured the future, as you can see on, on the slide. And he is not uh, wrong because, uh, as you might understand, well, in most of the biggest cities, for example, Moscow, St. Petersburg, um, Rome, in Italy, then uh, in the United States, and so on, there are very well uh, built and developed first level infrastructure. By first level, I mean the ground floor, the cars, the tramways, the trolley buses, trains, um, taxis, bike, uh, bicycle, bike uh, roads, roads for bicycling and uh, and for for jogging or walking as well, and. What is more, there there is there are also the underground systems for subways already constructed, but the problems still occur and the problems grow because mostly, well, the people are moving into the cities to work there, to live there more and more, and uh, and of course the population is growing as we know, and uh, well the conf well there are more. Uh, well, it's more possible for people to buy cars. So uh, the level of uh, success or the level of uh, comfort has risen. So almost every person who can, well, who has license uh, will buy a car or a vehicle to try with it. And that one also causes the number of cars in the traffic to rise and therefore causing many problems so what i want to say with with this long story so to make the long story short the only way where we can go next is second level and that's why skyway is here and and this uh, has come to help us because one another point is that uh, when we think about the uh, inner cities or the city centers there is no way we can even build the wider roads because we cannot just tear down the houses and build another road or the section of road there so the the choices are limited and the most um, well reasonable choice is that uh, we go on the second level and of course people have tried it before as well as you can see on this slide with uh, well normal trains or with monorail on the right side and well if you look just remember these constructions, how, how massive they are at, this, uh, at, the, at these pictures. And so you, I will later show you some more pictures of Skyway, then you can uh, 
get the glimpse what I'm uh, trying to say or, or tell you. And another angle from uh, monorail technology, it's much slower, it's more expensive to construct, for example, and then it's very, it's very massive. Then in Germany, there is technology which is like this. And this is also more than 20 years already um, back it was built. And then again, take a look at the supports. They are almost up to every 15 or 20 meters. So it's very hard to construct it or place it um, or build it into the city centers or, or through the city. So the most, well, the best ways are, uh, are like, like you see on this picture. And then this is uh, from picture from China, and this is basically a tramway, but it's upside down. And but by the technology, it doesn't, well, it doesn't have any any more special aspects or, or something new about this technology than the tram. And then we have this technology, which is well, most of you, I believe, have uh, been ski resorting um, in the hills, and. There you can witness the well the system that takes you to the hill is basically the same works on the same analog as, as you can see on these pictures and then uh, well on the right side let's take a look at the right picture on the right side and down, down right side the orange wheel so this is the engine and the engine spins and takes the rope or the chain or the mm, string with it so the capsule or the model or the transportation wagon, so to say, it doesn't move itself, but it clings or holds to the string and the string moves. And uh, the same is on the left side. So yeah, that's it. And then of course I have brought uh, to the slides this picture as well. This is a metro, very beautiful metro stations are in Russia indeed, but again, it's very, very, very expensive to construct it. For example, under Second Avenue in uh, New York, they constructed a new metro, uh, metro way, and uh, one kilometer cost more than one billion, with B, billion US dollars. So it's very expensive. But now let's take a look at the new age, new spirit, new energy, and uh, this is Skyway, and as, I, as it said, pictures is more than a thousand words. Skyway really is an amazing technology. It suits perfectly into the environments. It can be modified. The uh, supports can be modified um, by the needs. For example, in my town in Tartu, it's a university town, then it has to be modified as this uh, university, well, the buildings have these uh, supports there these ovals so it can be shaped uh, in every possible way and it's very neat it's very sharp it's clean it doesn't have some massive constructions as you can see on the picture now let's uh, now we are on the second part and we will see um, two um, sorry not two seven reasons why skyway is here why Skyway will stay and why Skyway will rock the world, as I like to say, because we have no other technologies at the moment that can be competitors to Skyway. And as Mr. or Dr. Anatoly Niski, who is the creator of uh, Skyway, also says that we are ahead about 10 years from, uh, from possible competitors. And since it is all patented in every possible way, all the um, designs, the um, well, the technology parts and so on, it's uh, also impossible to construct the same um, effective transportation system. But first point is that Skyway is innovative. And uh, well, there are many aspects about innovation. First, of course, the design. I will show you the next picture as well. Because this is the monorail, as I like to say, this is the double rail. And the second one is if you compare it with tram, normal ordinary tramways or, or, uh, or um, trains, trainways as well, then we can see, or train tracks, sorry, then we can see that, well, well, we can, let's picture that like this, when train drives, it can only drive in one direction per, uh, per moment. 
So, but with Skyway, when we are above the ground, as you can see on this picture, we can try both both ways. We can try well above the trail, above the track, well on the track, so to say, and uh, clinging underneath the track. So there are two possible ways at the same time. So this makes it all already double uh, efficient. And of course, the speed in a city is up to 150 kilometers per hour and uh, between cities so on the line the high speed train can go up to five to six hundred kilometers per hour and that uh, fast line is uh, already the track will be built within uh, next two years so we are all the investors especially are all very waiting for for the moment when we can see it uh, driving 500 kilometers per hour so this is this will be a very special moment but then again the the trail, uh, tra uh, sorry, the track um, rails also are very special because they are, um, well, first of all, there are pre-stressed strings, as you can see, there are, there are three um, groups of them, those um, on this specific picture, but the, there are pre-stressed strings and the um, body or the rail frame itself is filled with special filler and there can even be wooden mm, some holes or pipes so to say inside the rail mm, among this uh, this construction as you can see on this picture through which we can take all different wires for example internet electricity and so on so it can take electricity and internet and uh, other great uh, goods to all the villages for example in Africa where they do not have yet or still the electricity so this is uh, also patented this combination and then another picture i made myself uh, in echo festival you can see the short video i made a short video about one minute long and um, about my experience there you can google or sorry go to youtube and uh, type in my name and then you can find this um, video but it is really special and the feeling driving above the ground 15 meters and I don't know if you know it, but the uh, Skyway track can even be lifted up to 100 meters high. So, of course, it's much more expensive, and uh, and and um, but but that's the possibility. Sorry, this one we already saw. The second point is it is ecological, and as you can see on this picture again, even the heavy track, which is uh, well the double rail track suits very well to the environment it, and it will looks very beautiful it doesn't harm the eye and so on what well most people are afraid of maybe disturbing disrupting some eyesight when we put technology on the second level but no this one suits very well and of course uh, under the second point we have to talk about the co2 levels and as you might know, the world is going toward the reducing a lot of CO2 levels, well, especially, especially the um, engines which burn the fuel and generate this um, exhaustion, so to say, as you can see on this picture. So therefore, all these technologies will die out sooner or later, which are like similar like on this picture, and uh, will be separated with uh, electricity ones. So, and Skyway is fully electrical, running fully on, on electricity. And well, under ecological part, we can also, what makes it also cheaper, so to say, is that we do not have any screen effect. And we have this body shaped perfectly to cut the wind. So there will be no wind, um, uh, well, the wind, coefficient to what it reduces is it's it's even 10 times lower than with cars and mostly because of the screen effect the wind won't um, well go into the road or the road won't make any attachment to the wind when we are on the second level it can go directly beneath the uh, models mm -hmm. And then all the problems that we have today on the first level in African countries and in tropical climates, we have these strong winds. Therefore, the sand can be on the roads very um, costly to clean it um, all the time. 
and to maintain it. Also in the winter time with trains, we have a problem that when there is a, a strong or, or a lot of snow coming down, then it can lift the train above the track so it can go off the track. And then therefore the heavy trains which will clear the path for commercial ones are needed. And also all necessary, necessary constructions of the road bridges and so on. All this will, well, if we put Skyway, for example, here, uh, and we describe it uh, in the Europe, for example, where, where the grass grows very well, and um, well, the trees and bushes and so on, they all can be there still, even if we have a road above them. So we don't have to cut down the trees and uh, to make the make the roads. And that's another great aspect of it as well. All right, I'll put on the next slideshow. Yes, and here you can see on the left side this one. Uh, but uh, what is more important to know is that when we want to construct a new road, as you can see, uh, let it be a railroad or let it be a car road or, or whatever, then we have to dig about five to seven meters underground and fill it with special fillers so the road can hold its structure above. But uh, and on the right side, well, in 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 countries where there are a lot of mountains and rocks, then there is a mm, well, mm, there is explosions needed, so to say, and that is a very great field of expertise as well, and very developed. For example, in Winland, this category of uh, well, this section of uh, economy. So yes. Again, very expensive, expensive to do those. And now with Skyway, we have a possible possibility to take the transportation over the mountains, or we can, well, basically go from point A to point B without uh, the need to, well, to dig up the land, so to say. We only need to place the supports in the logical places and then take the track above. So therefore it's again, very efficient. And even the rivers or seas um, or lakes or so on are not the obstacle for us, but uh, but there is a solution for those as well. And at this point, I already described to you um, this thing with the population and the growth of the number of cars. Uh, and then, uh, of course, the traffic jams, which are occurring more often um, each year again due to the facts I told you before so this well we need a solution one solution what governments have thought about is that they will ban first of all they will ban uh, uh, cars um, entering the city with cars which run on fossil fuels so only electricity um, mobiles will stay there and after that one they probably when people are mostly switched to electric electric Risical vehicles, then they will probably switch the. They need um, well. They will ban cars in total. So the. So it will. Sorry about our. Sorry about that. So anyways, we'll see what the governments uh, will come up and where the world develops. But uh, the main point is that we will, well, in the future probably need to use less cars or will are urged to use. So therefore Sky again is a great solution that we can, well, comparing with buses, for example, which are very slow and so on. And, and again, in the traffic, then we can go above the ground where there are no traffic jams, there are no accidents uh, and so on. So many, many great aspects about it, as you can see on these pictures. So beautiful, Andy. It's really, really beautiful, aren't they? All right. The next point is about safety. A uh, lot of questions about safety, I know. So is it safe to go there above the ground? What happens if uh, the model stops? What happens if, uh, well, something collapses or so on? Mm, there is a great booklet uh, or the book, 100 pages about 
and uh, all the questions about safety are answered there as well. It's called 100 Questions and 100 Answers. It's made by Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, and those are the most popular questions uh, that are being uh, that are asked from him about the technology. So he is putting together this great uh, book, and it's available for free in, in internet. Just uh, type in 100 questions, 100 answers, and 100 questions and 100 answers, and you will find it uh, by Dr. Anatoly Unitsky. But all right, let's talk about a little, little bit about safety. First of all, the derailment system and the motor wheel itself, it, they will hold it so strongly there. So even if we, well, turn upside down the model or from there upside down, it will, well, it's like a spider. It clings very strongly there. So therefore, it's it's a great, uh, uh, great great technology that already making it safer. But uh, secondly, we have all these uh, mm, well, all these cameras and eye. So the third eye for uh, three hundred sixty degrees uh, vision there. So if anything, any obstacle would come in front of the well, in, in front of the track or in front of the model, it will immediately stop. Uh, and it's already tested as well. There are videos about it. Uh, again, Dr. Antoniski, he ran in front of the Unibus, then it automatically stopped. When Antoniski started uh, running uh, one way, it started following, and the other way, it started backward, backwarding. So it works very well. Also, inside the cabin, there are cameras. So, for example, if we are crossing borders, then we can do passport checks and so on uh, via the uh, system itself. Then if something happens uh, above the ground there, then as you can see in front and in the, in the back uh, side of the models, there are special elements which will attach with each other, with, with the other model, uh, 100%. So if something happens, one model, the other similar model will come and it can push, either push or pull it to the station or to the maintenance, as you can see on the picture uh, uh, below and it was also demonstrated in ECOFest 2019 and it well, worked very well and if we do not have the previous choice or previous option then we have like in helicopter straps we pull around the waist them and we can uh, lower ourselves uh, to the ground so no problem and I believe it's much more safer than this version of transportation, as you can see on this picture. Am I right? All right, jokes. Let's leave the jokes there and let's talk more about uh, the Skyway. Fourth and very important point is that we have real models. We have real products. They are already being developed since 2000. And, well, the, since 2015, there was the first construction that, that was made in uh, Eco Techno Parks. So the construction started back then there, but the research and development well on the papers and in the mind of Dr. Antoniski has already, um, well, it, it has been there in his mind for and on the papers for about 40 years by now. So it's not a new idea or something like, whoa, we have to do it, but it has been developed a very long time. He has calculated everything since he's a scientist as well. And, and uh, therefore it has mathematically and and all these necessary aspects ha have been thoroughly thought about and therefore we can see such a great uh, development what we have today. So within five or six years we have uh, more than 10 different models. We have two demonstration and certification centers. Uh, one of them is undergoing development, well both of them are undergoing development but in such the development process goes very active on there are more tracks coming and so on even in Ecotechno Park in Belarus they started constructing new track and and we are still waiting for the high speed line which will uh, which we will see within two years so there are the, the work goes on very very actively and then I will show you this models as well and already in Belarus by Russian and Belarus standards Mm, are certified the Uniwind, Unibike, Unibus, Unibus and Unibike were the first uh, models that were certified. There are about six or seven models that are certified already and, uh, and many of more of them are under the process of certification. 
for example, like this tropical unicorn, because there are the climate standards are different and then uh, well there are the salty salty air and so on so it have to, has to be tested differently than and built differently than uh, within europe climate conditions and then we have this unicons uni trucks um, uni trans systems which are meant to take car cargo or goods from point a to point b and if we compare it with well the trucks which take the sea containers or the cargo today they their average speed of those are about 15 kilometers 10 kilometers per hour there are these mandatory pauses they the drivers have to take and the traffics and so on the traffic and so on so but on the second level we can go up, uh, with average speed about 70 to 100 kilometers per hour and we have two ways to go not only one way, and and uh, and the loading process is about seven, uh, sorry, uh, under sixty seconds. So it's very efficient, and we will see these tracks in the future, uh, certainly. This is one revolutionary thing. Oh, and here you can see a picture as well. This is what, well, this is animation picture, of course, but this is what it will look like in in uh, such a soon. All right. The fifth point is that we have a demand today everywhere for Skyway. And we started from Belarus, we have made our way to United Arab Emirates. And uh, as I know, we have many, 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 uh, well, pre-contracts and memorandum of understandings and, well, contact persons and the work goes on basically on every continent. So it's not that far anymore when we can see the true revolutionary of, of transportation. And this uh, and, and the leader is of course Skyway, as Anatoly Niski has uh, is already said, also said sorry that, that uh, about percent of the second transportation uh, sector uh, will be held by Skyway. And the sixth point is that we have a strong and professional team. We have more than six hundred workers all the specialists needed to, to build the dream of Anatoly Niske. And uh, we have um, more, about 1 million investors today who have invested their, their money as well in the project, who are the fuel, so to say. And we have many departments, design bureaus and so on. All right, let's see. Seven point. Seven point is the money side, and uh, there are two main groups I see to whom it's financial beneficial. One is the the one the group who orders the technology, who wants it to be placed. Let it be government or well, city or or uh, or uh, private company who wants the technology. And the uh, another group is uh, or are investors who are well mm, out of uh, great uh, intentions and and uh, well who believe in the project and who will uh, support the uh, support the Skyway financially. Therefore, they receive the shares of the technology. So wherever in the world Skyway tracks are uh, placed, the profit which uh, the company makes. 20% of the profits will be divided between the investors, well, depending on how much, uh, on exactly how much shares they have. And of course, that's the, that's the dividend part. And when we will enter the open market, the world market, so-called true IPO, then it's possible to, well, sell or buy new shares as well and it, it, the prices will be much higher than than they are today when we invest so for customer as you can see now the price level i did the research my own as well mm, of course it, it, it's in estonian language but it was 25 pages uh, because of my well in university i had the chance to do a well i had to do a research and i decided to do it on skyway and i compared another other transportation technology as well i received a grade a uh, and and what I found out was the fact that uh, on the Second Avenue in New York, for example, when they uh, constructed a metro or the subway, it uh, cost more than one billion US dollars. 
but if we compare it with for example monorail or maglev or even trains and trams sky is much cheaper uh, of all of them so there is no question about the money aspect the only question is uh, time today what we have the only risk and uh, and when the first project will start then it's like a snowball effect all the other projects will, st uh, will start going on as well but now the news uh, quite recently an address project was announced in United Arab Emirates media uh, and uh, it's coming to a city called Korfakan and it's about 100 kilometers long and it's meant mainly for the sea containers and I know there are uh, there is another 10 kilometer track as well planned which is uh, well for uh, people for for the travelers so to say not for for uh, stuff or cargo and then a few years ago the 15 kilometer track was announced in dubai as well which should come in dubai in the city center so let's let's see great news then also recently we were on french television when the first uh, demonstration of this uh, what you can see on the picture of this model started Unicont and it's also great and we are uh, I believe uh, approximately after well in every each month or, or, or over month or one month we are in in some somewhere in the world in television or in newspapers then uh, the expo what which will start in October and will last until uh, I believe it was March or May so it's about half a year along the event and Skyway is also presented there and all the well who are more interested in this technology can go on the site as well in Sasha mm -hmm. uh, to, to see it so this will be a revolution and, and, and I really wait for this and I hope I can go there as well to, to see this with my own eyes again and see the development and just feel the energy and maybe talk to Anatoly Nitsky or the crew or, or so on to get a glimpse of the the information which 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 what will start and so on to give me more security and more power and more information to tell you through the through the webinars therefore i urge you to take part of the webinars and invite people to the webinars and and uh, just uh, yes be here at the time and then make good and great choices regarding to to the technology and regarding to investments then, very recently, journalists from the National uh, visited U.S. Testing and Certification Center, and we were almost in most of the major newspapers in the United Arab Emirates as well. And this was after the after when there was a availability to to start testing the models with people. Before it was only running well empty; there were no people inside. But now it's possible to to carry on people as well and to test just the comfortness and uh, comfort and so on as well and the last news is or are about uh, well what I said actually earlier earlier so international media uh, reports and from 7 to 8 June the English language edition of Kulf News Kali Times and Time Out released publications about the current achievements of UNITSKI string technologies uh, in such and the company's development plans in the United Arab Emirates and they are uh, they shared the highlights of the, of uh, different materials the journalists point out that uh, now in such there is a 400 meter operating test line on which the passenger transport is already running at the speed of 50 kilometers per hour and two more 2.4 sorry not 2.5 but 2.4 kilometer tracks are also under construction and uh, according to a present uh, represent, uh, representative of UST, uh, Unitsky String uh, tra Transport Company Center in Sarge, the first of these tracks will be ready by the opening of the expo in October this year and the second one by May 2022. And the CEO of SRT Park, where the construction takes part at the moment, the Innovation Center construction said that uh, they are considering Korfakan and they are also working on operations in the city center and they hope to commercialize the technology and make it one of the most successful in, in the region. 
Yes, and as a reminder, uh, the national, which I told you before, uh, reported that a 130, uh, sorry, 130 kilometer freight string track could be built between the city of Korfakan and Sacha. And in addition, Hussain Al Mahmoud, who is the CEO there, stated that the UST transport could solve the problem of traffic congestion because string tracks are more efficient and do not require large areas of land. So these are all great, very great news. All right, and in the end, I always like to show this picture here of Dr. Antonio Niske and Dalai Lama. And Dalai Lama gave his blessings and said, it won't be an easy path for you, but you will uh, eventually will succeed. So therefore, if this holy man has also given his blessings and all the signs show that we are on the right path. So I believe there, the only obstacle is time at the moment. Um, when we think about the investors and who have well given uh, funds to the company and wish to receive some of those back or or, uh, or sell maybe some shares or, or get receive some dividends, then it will come. It just takes time and we have to be patient. And at the moment, the only thing we can do is keep more support out and do active work. And they are also possible to, well, receive uh, benefits from active work as well. Uh, so you can all read about this in your back office. So again, all the news are there, videos are there. They are constantly updating the news and videos and, and information there. All the documents are there as you can read on your own and, and make a decision. So thank you very much for today's webinar. Mm, the next webinar will take place in the end of month on the 28th of July. At the same time, 7 p.m. Uh, Moscow time. So take a look at your um, well, timetable, uh, what time it is in your country back then. Of course, it's usually recorded via YouTube as well. So you can look the recording later. So there is no problem of that. And invite people, take part yourself and support the project. And let's be happy and patient. And eventually it will all work out. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you for your time and have a great evening. Good. Bye.